Hi there. And look at what followed me home from the grocery store. These uh, fennels are absolutely incredibly nutritious. And I have this absolutely delicious recipe that is quick and easy to make. It requires no cooking. It's nutritious because this is a superfood and it's very affordable. And uh, tonight I'm going to be talking about a very important principle uh, in nutrition called the bikini principle. So, um, the Matagellan uh, Foundation rates foods for their nutrition and this fennel is rated in the, as a superfood. And there's a couple of reasons. One, it's very, very high in vitamin C and it doesn't look like your traditional uh, citrus fruits um, and it's actually, uh, but it is very high in, in vitamin C and it's also high in molybdenum and uh, this is a, an essential mineral which means is that we have to have it and our body does not produce it so we have to find it in our foods and uh, molybdenum is frequently found in legumes and grains which are not the foods we need to be eating uh, in, in very moderation if we're insulin resistant. It's also found in organ meats that are extremely difficult to find these days and they're not very popular. So uh, let's get on with the recipe and I'm going to show you just a, a one tip that I learned about cutting it. So, um, when we're doing fennel, uh, we can uh, we start, start by uh, chopping these, but we don't throw them away, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. Uh, this center portion, this is kind of hard, and so uh, we need to remove it, and so we're going to cut, and we're going to make a triangle. And we're going to cut out, I'm going to cut it this way as well, and I'm going to cut all of that out. So now, we that hard part um, is uh, gone, and now I'm going to do that for this one. And I'm going to trim and get rid of the yucky stuff on the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to do this one as well. There we go. There's a little bit left. And now this one. Now, if you ever have an opportunity, the roots are actually edible as well. We don't normally find them in the grocery store, but you can cut the roots and roast them, and I've heard they're very delicious. I have never, had not had the pleasure yet, but I look forward to that. Uh, so, uh, you just do saw a little pieces, and about the size that you like, and I'll trim it and get back. Okay, one of the reasons that we don't um, throw these away just yet is because these fronds are actually nutritious. And um, I wouldn't recommend using these uh, older ones on the top of the plant, but the ones close to the bulb, you can see these are really nice and feathery and light, and they are very, very nutritional. And uh, I remember um, Dr. Terry Walls who, who says, don't throw nutrition away. So I'm going to trim these, and I'm going to add them to the salad. Um, to just when I see um, uh, the, how fresh the fronds are, I can tell that the fennel bulb is fresh, and that's important. Recipe called for three ounces of almonds with the skin. Now, one of the things that um, we eat a lot of is nuts on uh, the mitochondrial food plan. This is the uh, Institute of Functional Medicine's mitochondrial food plan, and that is um, a big part of brain health. And so since we eat a lot of nuts, 
I soak them in water for 24 hours after I bring them home from the store, and then I dry them uh, overnight in a dehydrator, and it makes them much easier to digest. So I'm going to add um, the nuts have been soaking in uh, lemon juice and uh, lemon zest, and so this is more vitamin C. The recipe called for two apples, and this is one of the tweaks that I needed to make for Paul and I. We're both insulin resistant. We're both fighting Alzheimer's. And so uh, two apples was a little bit too much. We can each eat half an apple. So I'm adding one apple. The other thing that's really important to know about apples is that the Environmental Working Group is an, uh, a nonprofit that rates the toxicity uh, uh, on various uh, fruits and vegetables. And uh, we have what's called the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. Well, apples rank number five in being part of the Dirty Dozen. So this is one of the fruits uh, that's important to, or to pay the extra pennies uh, for what's not there, Bikini Principle. And uh, the recipe calls for a tablespoon of capers. Now, I, when uh, I grew up, we didn't eat capers, and the only place that I saw them was after I graduated from college, and I went to a fine restaurant. I always thought they were ostentatious. Well, it turns out when I was doing my research for this uh, recipe that they are a super antioxidant. So here's to capers. The recipe also called for, uh, for fresh dill. Now, uh, I can't even get fresh parsley right now here uh, out in West Texas. So I'm using uh, dried dill uh, for the flavor and it still has some nutrition. Okay, bring this over here. And uh, the recipe, uh, let's see, where are we? Um, it called for a bunch of flat leaf parsley. Well. Uh, for the past two weeks, we haven't had any parsley in the store, maybe three weeks. And um, we usually have it in the store, but we had an ice storm, and um, we just don't have it. So I'm going to add uh, a big handful of spinach, chopped spinach, uh, and I'm going to add a little tiny bit of cilantro. Uh, cilantro spinach is one of those great, incredible recipes we know about Popeye <laughs> and uh, for strength. Uh, and cilantro is also very, very nutritious, along with parsley and dill and uh, watercress. These are super green, super nutritional. So I'm just going to chop a little bit of this uh, to add some flavor and a little extra nutrition and put it back. And I keep uh, my parsley in the refrigerator uh, the way a florist keeps flowers in the refrigerator with water and uh, protection. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the next thing is mackerel. And uh, mackerel needs to be wild caught because uh, we want to eat fish who've had good nutrition, not fish who've had uh, stuff that we don't want to eat. And if they eat it, uh, we're at the top of the food chain, so whatever they ate, we eat. Uh, mackerel is uh, one of the fish that's recommended on the IFM, uh, uh, mitochondrial food plan. It is one of the SMASH fish that stands for salmon, mackerel, anchovies, sardine, and herring. All of these are available at affordable prices. They're very, very high in omega-3, which reduces inflammation, and they're low in mercury. So once again, bikini principle, what's there is just as important as to what's not there. Let's see, and the recipe called for uh, six ounces, but it's not available in the store. Uh, that I have found at six ounces. So I'm adding uh, two, and since we've cut down on the carbs in the recipe, we're adding just a little bit more. Uh, we're adding just a little bit more protein. So,
Okay, I am adding uh, the fronds to the salad. And this salad turned out kind of big, so I'm going to get a larger salad bowl. Okay, so now we're up to the final step, the salad dressing for our recipe. And uh, I'm going to go back to the bikini principle. What's not there is just as important as what is there. And what's not in this salad dressing? Well, there's no canola oil and there's no soybean oil, which are GMO products. And that are high in omega-6, which is known to increase inflammation in the body and in the brain. Also, this salad dressing uh, is free of hidden sugars. This is very important because Americans eat 152 pounds of sugar a year. That number sounded impossible, and so I looked up the source and it is published in the National Institute of Health in a study done by the University of California at San Francisco by a sugar science department. And 80% of the sugar consumed by Americans is, in, is hidden in products like salad dressing, ketchup, uh, packaged foods, and if you don't read the labels, you might not know what it is that you're eating, and it might help you understand why you're not losing weight. I will publish in the description 16 of the common names for sugar. So, what is so fabulous about this uh, salad recipe? For one, it has apple cider vinegar, which we know helps with insulin resistance. It has juice of a lemon, and this increases the uh, vitamin C content of the salad even more. And it has one to two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And Dijon mustard, this particular one that I have, is made uh, from organic products and it does not increase inflammation. Uh, and it, and uh, now we have four tablespoons, that's right, two tablespoons per person. The salad is for two. Um, and so I put these in here. And uh, we'll stir it up. And we will add it to the salad. Uh, I want to share with you uh, why I am so excited about the salad. The fiber, the oil, the ingredients in it. Allow me to have a fasting glucose of 97. And this is so important for me because I am insulin resistant. I have to work hard at getting a 97. And with this recipe, it's easy and it allows me to, to know that I am working to lower my risk of Alzheimer's. So let me know if you get these same incredible results. If you found this information helpful, I hope that you'll consider subscribing and uh, supporting me in my efforts to share this knowledge of how to create a brighter brain through nutrition. I'm Diana Liz, founder of Rejuvenating Lifestyle for Mind, Body, Health and Happiness, wishing you a life of flourishing. Bon appetit for brain health.